Hey everyone, welcome back to another KSP tutorial. Uh, firstly, I'd like to say thank you for uh, Quantum Kaon, Ravenclaw Tom, Creator and uh, Rocket Master for my previous video, which was in terms of how you how you should use your RCS. Now, uh, a lot of points have been brought up by uh, very very good subscribers of mine in terms of RCS. A hell of a lot more than I mentioned. I just mentioned one, but uh, they pointed so many out. I just decided to redo the whole thing, including their points that they've added. So let me start off with mine, which was the basic thing. When you are using your RCS, for example, I'm going to activate it now, and you see my RCS is activated. And uh, a lot of people, when they're using RCS, for example, I want to go left, so I'm going to push left. They keep their fingers on the actual left button, and you shouldn't do that because I have no air in space. As you saw, I push left and it's still spinning towards the direction that I want it to go to. So try not to keep your finger on the actual direction or keep your finger on the RCS all the time. You just push a little to counteract it and just stop it, you know, and just stop it. It'll, it'll work. If you want to go down, you just push down and you just let it go and it will rotate. So this is one sort of tip in terms of how to consume less RCS in general. Now, another point that has been brought up by my wonderful subscribers is one of the main points that I forgot to mention in my first episode of this is uh, the fact that your ships are how to put it never actually 100% stable I've never seen a ship that is 100% rigid I guess you could get that done with so many struts but generally your ship will never be 100% rigid it means if I put my RCS on and then I switch my SAS on as you notice the RCS will pretty much continually burn all the damn time just to keep it stable. Small little bursts you see are happening as the ship is never rigid. Now of course for a much larger ships if you put your S smart SAS on it'll continue it'll continue burning your it'll continue using your mono propellant. So that's one thing to keep in mind with large ships just don't switch on your ACES and RCS and then just leave because it'll just keep burning your uh, RCS and you'll be done and it'll be completed. So if I do take a look at my monopropellant, mono propellant, it's 735 still. But with large ships, it'll continue to burn the uh, RCS to stabilize the actual ship because it's never 100% rigid. You know, a small ship like this, I did get it actually 100% uh, stable, so it's stopping to burn. It stops to burn, but with large ships, it'll just continue to burn. It, so don't do that. Now, in terms of your heading, uh, once you are in space, uh, you might be also asking yourself, Wait a moment, how, how the hell do I uh, keep keep my heading? How the hell do I stick pointing at one certain spot? Well, it doesn't really matter where you point, because remember when you are in space, uh, there is no atmosphere, so you pretty much are heading in the general direction that uh, your actual velocity was headed, or your kinetic energy, where you threw it at. That means the yellow circle. It means you are heading towards that angle, so it really doesn't matter which way you're pointing, you're still going to be heading towards uh, this point. It means you're still traveling this way. So either you're traveling it with upside down, sideways, uh, wrong way up, sideways up, vertically. It doesn't really matter because you're still heading towards the same thing. So that's why it doesn't really matter which way you point. So what you could do is uh, switch off your uh, SAS and then just keep your RCS on. And if you want, then just use your RCS to point towards your actual heading where you are actually headed to. And that is, of course, the yellow circle, not the yellow circle with the cross just the yellow circle and uh, that's pretty much it in terms of your RCS of course if you want to know a little bit more in terms of how this works just take a look at my RCS and uh, SAS tutorial including the uh, smart SAS and you'll see how exactly they work because I get into more detail in terms of that hopefully I presume I don't know but hopefully later on I will be able to even right click my uh, smart uh, SAS and maybe be able to switch it off. For example, you know, now I can switch it off from here, for example, my mono propellant. Maybe in the later updates, I'll be able to switch it off as well. And maybe I can even bind it to my action groups. You know, that, that probably is going to happen because the action groups should get a substantial uh, function boost as well sometime later on in the near future. Well, this is it as always. Uh, thank you all for commenting in my previous one and I uh, hope you guys like this video and see you guys in another one. Happy gaming. Bye.